Welcome to Stendex Meta Electronics, how to select the correct technology for a given sensor requirement. We will focus on the following sensor technologies, read sensors, hall sensors, and electromagnetic sensors. These sensors all provide a switching function either directly or indirectly. We will introduce the key specifications and how these parameters compare to each other for the different technologies. With the advent of new, expanded, and improved technologies, sensors are expanding geometrically. Sensors are finding new requirements across all the market segments. Telecom, instrumentation, security, medical, automotive, home appliance, marine, consumer products, and general purpose. This rapid growth has been initiated primarily from the unique qualities of each of the technologies, which we will now begin to explore. We will define the following sensor technologies in the next several slides. Read sensors, hall sensors, and electromechanical sensors. Each of these technologies will switch a load either directly or indirectly. A load is simply that which needs to be powered when these technologies are switched on. These loads can be lights, small motors, computers, etc. A reed sensor is comprised of a small hermetically sealed glass cylinder, usually sealed and packaged in plastic or metal, having two leads that directly provide a switching function. The reed sensor comes in hundreds of different sizes and shapes suitable for a variety of applications. The sensitivity to closure is measured in millitesla or ampere turns. The reed sensor typically uses an external magnet to close the contacts. When the magnet is brought close enough to the reed sensor, the contacts will close or pull in. Withdrawing the magnet, the contacts will open or drop out. Hysteresis is just the ratio of the pull in divided by the dropout. We will talk more about hysteresis later. Withdrawing the magnet, the contacts will open or drop out. Hysteresis is another useful parameter. Reed switch sensors do not need any extra circuitry to operate. Once the contacts close, they directly carry out the intended switching function. The reed switch has only two leads. There is no polarity associated with the two leads. The reed sensor can be used in all environmental conditions over wide temperature ranges and even in dirty environments. The reed sensors come in hundreds of different sizes and shapes to meet a multitude of different application requirements. We now even have a micro-machined reed switch that is made using integrated circuit technology and can therefore be packaged in extremely small package sizes. Customers have the opportunity to select the best packaging concept that will line up with their application. The Hall sensor is a semiconductor device which is made using an integration process. An electrical current must be flowing into the device in order to carry out its function. With current flowing, the Hall sensor will interact with the presence of a magnet field producing a voltage. This voltage level, measured in millivolts, is proportional to the relative strength of the magnetic field. Hall sensors are not affected by shock or vibration, but will show some voltage output variation due to the vibratory motion. Hall sensors can be used in most environmental conditions, except potentially wide temperature ranges. They can be used in dirty environments. Made using semiconductor integration processing, the Hall sensor can be packaged in very small sizes. Hall sensors come in several different package styles, having a minimum of three electrical leads exiting the packaging. Hall sensors need additional electronic circuitry to carry out their switching function. Both the reed sensor and the Hall sensor are activated by an external magnetic field. However, electromechanical sensors require a mechanical movement that presses into a mechanical lever mounted external to the sensor. This lever will directly close a set of contacts, usually internal to the sensor packaging. The sensor can have two or more leads exiting the packaging for direct load switching. The sensors can have a single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, and double pole, double throw lead configurations. The electromechanical sensors require no external circuitry for proper operation, and they are available in many different package styles. 
These sensors, however, are not suitable for all environments. They are susceptible to moist environments as well as dusty, dirty environments. These contaminants can find their way internally affecting and or inhabiting the contacts from properly closing. We will now start our parameter analysis. We will look at each specification and compare them to the three technologies. Reed sensors require no added circuitry. Once activated, they will directly switch the circuit or load that is needing actuation. Hall sensors need additional circuitry to carry out a switching function. They require a means of electronically amplifying the small voltage signal that is generated by the magnetic field. Once it's amplified, it can then be used to turn on a power semiconductor device, which then carries out the switching operation. Electromechanical sensors require no added circuitry. Once activated, they will directly switch the circuit or load that is needing actuation. Reed sensors draw zero current and use no power in their off state. Hall sensors require current to be flowing to carry out the sensing function. This is because it is the interaction of the current flow with the magnetic field that produces the millivolt signal output. Electromechanical sensors draw zero current and use no power in their off state. Reed sensors and electromechanical sensors require no polarity for proper operation. Hall sensors require polarities to be observed for proper operation. Reed sensors and electromechanical sensors have no sensitivity to polarity on their output. Hall sensors must observe polarity on their output terminals or leads. Reed sensors and Hall sensors can sense magnetic field distances greater than one inch. This means that the magnet needs to only physically come within one inch for the contacts or signals to be generated. Electromechanical sensors do not have a sensing distance. Their lever must be physically depressed by a touching mechanical movement. Reed sensors and Hall sensors can accurately sense 0.04 inches or one millimeter. Electromechanical sensors have no sensing distance and require physical contact to carry out their switching function. Hysteresis for reed sensors can be selected. This is particularly important if one is measuring the level of a fluid in a moving vehicle. A hysteresis of around 50% would be ideal. Here, once a low level, say, of brake fluid is detected, the reed sensor will activate a light on the dashboard. With a 50% differential, the light will remain on and steady. If the hysteresis was in the 90% range, the dashboard light would be constantly going on and off as the brake fluid sloshed around with each bump or curve in the road. Hall sensors have no hysteresis. They have a gradual on signal and a gradual off signal. Electromechanical sensors have a fixed hysteresis that cannot be controlled. Reed sensors have a low stable on resistance, typically only 50 to 100 milliohms. Hall sensors have the resistance of semiconductor material and generally runs in thousands of ohms. Electromechanical sensors have a low on resistance, typically in the 50 to 100 milliohm range. However, they generally will pick up a film on the contacts with usage and unless it's burned off by switching a relatively high voltage and or current, its on resistance will increase. It could be at the thousands of ohms level across the contacts. If you're only switching low voltages or low signals, they may be lost going through the high contact on resistance. Reed sensors and electromechanical sensors require no other circuitry. They can switch their loads directly. Hall sensors only put out a small voltage signal that cannot switch any load directly. They need electronic amplifiers and power electronic switches to switch a given load. Reed sensors in their hermetically sealed capsules can switch as low as zero volts on up to a thousand volts with the same sensor with no added circuitry. Hall sensors in a magnetic field put out a low millivoltage depending upon the strength of the magnet field. To switch higher voltages, the signals need to be amplified and then sent to a power semiconductor. 
Electromechanical sensors cannot switch very low voltages or currents because they build up films on the contacts with usage. Usually five or more volts are needed to break over this film. They can directly switch up to 240 volts. Reed sensors and electromechanical sensors can switch up to one amp directly and can carry three amps. Hall sensors need added as previously described. Reed sensors can operate within 100 microseconds and release within 25 microseconds. The Hall sensors are the fastest of the technologies and can operate and release within 10 microseconds. The electromechanical sensors can operate and release within 100 milliseconds. The lowest output capacitance of the technologies, Reed sensors have only 0.2 picofarads across the open contacts. Hall sensors have as high as 100 nanofarads. Electromechanical sensors typically have around 50 picofarads. Output isolation describes how well the input and output are isolated from each other. The higher the isolation, the better. The lower the isolation, there becomes more of a chance to lose small signals going through the contacts. If one is switching small signals, the Reed sensor is the best option with greater than 1 times 10 to the 12th power ohms isolation. With Hall sensors having the worst isolation at 1 times 10 to the 7th power ohms and electromechanical sensors a little better at 1 times 10 to the 8th power ohms. Hall sensors being a pure semiconductor have no moving parts and therefore do not wear out. So they are clearly the best selection for long operating life requirements. Reed sensors also do well in long operating life applications if switching relatively low voltages and currents with lifetimes up to 1 billion operations. Electromechanical sensors will mechanically wear rather rapidly and will only survive up to 1 million operations. However, they can offer the best lifetimes if switching higher voltages and currents. Semiconductors, and therefore Hall sensors, are very susceptible to EDI RFI. Basically, EDI is electronic discharge, typically static electricity. Static electricity is enough to totally disable Hall sensors. RFI is radio frequency interference, and any burst of RF will disable the Hall sensor as well. Both the Reed sensor and the electromechanical sensor are not susceptible to EDI or FI. Hall sensors are the clear technology selection in a very high shock environment. Reed sensors have some vulnerability to shock in applications involving 200 Gs or more. The micro Reed sensors using MEM, micro machining technology, have no shock susceptibility. Electromechanical sensors have very little susceptibility to shock up to 400 Gs. Hall sensors characteristics will vary with temperature and therefore typically have only an operating range from 0 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, while the Reed sensor has the best operating range of minus 55 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. Electromechanical sensors have an operating range of minus 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. All technologies have an excellent storage range of minus 55 Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. As has been presented, each technology has its own best operating characteristics. Each technology needs to be selected based on a given application. One technology may be good for one application, but not for another. Choosing the wrong technology for a given application can result in a lot of time and money loss along with the loss of several potential customers. Care must be taken when pairing a technology to a given application.